todos. Buenos dias. Uh, it is a nice early bright morning in Seville. Um, I didn't sleep super great. Um, it's still very very cold. Um, Europe apparently is getting quite a little cold spell and surprisingly Spain can get cold especially when the sun isn't out which I definitely experienced last night. Um, my apartment is slowly warming up <laughs> so I'm, I'm particularly happy about that but Today's a busy day. I've got uh, some stuff to do. Um, again, you know, I'm working remotely, so I have to get some work done, and I'm kind of on the end of a, you know, critical project, uh, so I'm going to have to put in um, some extra work. But before then, I have to do some crucial things that I've been procrastinating on. Number one, I got to get coffee, I like good coffee, <laughs> um, which is kind of hard to find sometimes in touristy areas, but I'll talk about that later. Um, Number two is I need to get a cell phone uh, SIM card. Um, and then finally, I have to find a market because uh, I need to get some fresh, uh, <laughs> fresh food. Um, so far, I've just been kind of like nibbling on different things. Um, I found some food at a, a local um, shopping, uh, like a, a, I don't know, it would be a, like a mini mart kind of thing. Um, I managed to get by some fruits. Not bad, but I, I've waited all of this time. Um, to come back to Southern Europe near the Mediterranean for their fantastic uh, fruits. And I'm really looking forward to oranges. This is the place for them, right? Valencia, um, uh, Spain. All of the great oranges that I get back at home have got the little the Spanish flag on it. So I'm, um, I've been told that the uh, they're just fantastic around here. And I'm going uh, to go find some. So, uh, all that in the next couple hours, and then I gotta get back to work. Wish me luck. Okay, so I did it. I did my errands, and I'm back before noon, uh, just afternoon, and uh, um, got all my errands done. Now I, I had an extra errand as well, so I I, I got a SIM card. I'm all set. Um, I got uh, um, I got the market, which I'll show you in a second, uh, or I went to the market, um, which is funny. Like markets are so hilarious because there's so such a diverse, uh, you know, offerings. Um, at the the market and uh, but at the same time like some of them take credit cards no problem others can't cash a 20 <laughs> and uh, and some stuff is like ridiculously cheap others is silly expensive it's 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 a crazy it's a crazy world it's wild west um, but fantastic I, I, I miss going to these fresh markets um, um, but I had an extra errand unfortunately which really made me late because uh, I guess the um, cell phone <laughs> company, uh, Vodafone, for whatever reason, sometimes I go in there and uh, try to pay or try to top up and, and that, but you know, they're, the, the system's down, so I have to come an extra, uh, another day or, or whatever. Um, and today their card machine didn't work, so I had to get cash, which I tried to get cash out of it. Like, the, uh, I should talk a little bit more about that, but you, you definitely want to uh, find a bank uh, ATM when you're in Europe, there'll be ATMs all over the place, but they're, you know, they charge ridiculous service fees and they'll try to trick you into paying for their conversions and all that kind of stuff. It's a scam. If you find a bank, um, those are a lot more legit. Um, but I did that and it turns out 
uh, my bank was denying uh, um, uh, me for pulling out cash. So I had to call them, which was a whole thing. And um, turns out not only did some, like I had to turn on some international uh, banking thing um, that allowed me to take money out. And then my daily withdrawal amount um, had to be exceeded. I think it was at like $50 or something. So it's like, okay, just, you know, <laughs> make it work, please. And so the guy did. It was very helpful. All good. And I got to the market. So let's see what I got. All right, let's see what we got. This was the market hall. Um, so obviously I, uh, I wanted to get some fresh seafood. And that's about six uh, shrimps. And it cost me a, a euro fifty, I think even less than that, which is crazy. Um, got me myself some nice looking olives, this amazing looking tomato um, that the guy at the market was very excited about. Mentioned it. I got some chorizo um, to uh, gnaw on a bit. Uh, some supposedly really nice cooking um, olive oil. Because uh, everybody makes a big deal about Italian olive oil, but uh, Spain's olive oil is uh, also quite good. Some fresh bread. Again, I, this, was, uh, this was like 50 euro, or um, uh, half a euro uh, for this bread, um, which is really nice. Uh, I've got a bunch of oranges and these amazing looking strawberries. They smell fantastic. And of course... The white asparagus. He talked me into getting two of them. <laughs> I don't really know why, but in Spain, in particular in Seville, the white asparagus, it comes at a certain time. People go crazy about it. It's a big thing. Um, it's a staple. And for whatever reason, this guy talked me into buying these, uh, these mushrooms. They're not, there's a special name for them that I've forgotten, of course, because I'm not really into mushrooms. Um, but I'm going to try them out. So... Uh, they smell nice, they look nice, and uh, uh, so I, I have no excuse not to cook, tonight at least. I'm going to figure out something to do with these, uh, these shrimps, uh, with asparagus and tomato, and for dessert, oranges and strawberries. Mm -mm -mm. Fantastic. I also got um, my coffee, Rwandan. Uh, not really sure exactly what to, it's, it's a medium roast. It's very, uh, it's very, very rich. Very good. I'm happy. So I'm going to make some coffee now and uh, I guess I got to go to work. Oh, it's spilling everywhere. Oh, yeah, so much better than than the dollar per bag uh, coffee that I uh, bought temporarily. Mmm, that's good stuff. Oh, I almost forgot the cell phone. You won't believe it. Like, um, I I didn't really want to, these videos to be all just like personal stories or whatever. I wanted some informative stuff. And one of the things that I've talked to a lot of people about is if you're going to stay in Europe for any uh, length of time, uh, get a local SIM card. Like, not one at the airport, um, the one once you get into town. And, uh, for example, the one that I got was 30 euros. All the data, all the phone that I need um, anywhere in Europe. And uh, that also in included the SIM card itself, um, which I thought that was a bit of a mistake or whatever. But... So that's about $45 uh, Canadian dollars, about the same US dollars and uh, per month. And like, how, how can you go wrong? Even my American friends will be shocked to know that the, uh, the data roaming fees that I paid for for the last three days would have added up to $45. That's Rogers. That's what they charge. 
on top of my normal phone bill just because I'm in Europe. And uh, if I buy a, like a brand new plan, it's like cheaper. Like how ridiculous is that? Um, so yeah, um, if you do buy them at the airport, they're, I don't know why they don't have like, uh, the, like a regular phone service or whatever, but they have resellers. And they, they try to sell you like uh, something for $30 that'll last you a week or uh, 14 days or something like that. If you just wait, you hold on, um, you head into the city, uh, find like an orange or orange uh, Vodafone, which is the one that I keep going with, and uh, save a lot of money. Some advice. Take it from me. And most phones are unlocked nowadays. Um, you may want to make sure that your phone can take another SIM card, but if you have an iPhone, apparently you can uh, you can put two SIM cards in there um, simultaneously. So um, I had to actually physically swap mine out. Um, so it's a lot easier than you think. Um, advice I give everyone now. <laughs> also, <laughs> this is why I love uh, coming to places in January and wandering around at night. It's a little after midnight, and the, I have these alleyways to myself. It's amazing. Here, check it out. They're well lit, and they're gorgeous. <laughs>